Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on SDTM programming with R for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we will see how to implement key SDTM programming concepts using R. We will take a quick look at the SAS program for the same concept and then see in detail about the R program. Please note that the complete explanation of the SAS program for this lesson is available in a separate playlist. I will leave the link for it in the description of this video. In this video, we will see how to create planned ARM variables in SDTM DM domain. So that is ARM CD and ARM in demographics domain. So on the left hand side, I have my SAS program and on the right hand side, I have my R program. So let us take a quick look at the SAS program and then jump back to the complete explanation of the R program. So what I have before that, let's take a look at the specification for this lesson. So here we have specification uh, derivation logic given for ARM CD and ARM variable. So uh, we'll go through the ARM CD derivation first. For ARM CD, it says planned ARM will be identified using the randomization number for each subject. So it says or it asks us to fetch the randomization number so it is present in a data set called enrollment and in a variable named rand and no of each subject by merging demog data set and enrollment data set as at study and pt level so we have the randomization number in a data set called enrollment and all the list of subjects enrolled in the study is present in a demog data set so we can merge enrollment and demog data set at patient level to get the randomization number first and then Plan treatment, which is TXCD associated with each randomization number is present in RAN data set. So enrollment has the randomization number and the treatment associated with a particular randomization number is present in a second data set called RAN data set. So we'll have to first fetch the randomization number for subject and then use the randomization code to get the treatment associated with that subject in at the end. So it says fetch TXCD associated with randomization number of each subject into demog data set by merging processed demog data set which already contains your randomization number and rand data set at demog rand number versus rand dot rand id. So the randomization number from enrollment is present in a variable named rand num but the name of the variable is slightly different in randomization data set. So we'll have to handle it appropriately. And then once we fetch the TXCD as ARM CD, so we can create ARM variables using the logic provided here. So when the ARM CD is active, so we are being asked to set it to active. And when ARM CD is PBO, so we are being asked to set the ARM value to placebo. So this is the requirement for this. So let us take a quick look at the data sets as well before we jump into the explanation. So here, if we see, we have our demo data set. We have all the data for all patients enrolled in the study. And then we were asked to check our enrollment data set, which has the randomization number. So we have this column called rand no, which contains the randomization number of this subject. So all subjects are present in demo. Enrollment data set has information for randomization number. So we need to fetch this into our demo data set and then get the treatment associated with that randomization number using this data set called rand. So in this rand, the randomization number is present in a variable called rand underscore id. And then arm cd is from this tx underscore cd variable. So we'll have to use this variable and this variable to get the final information for arm cd of each subject. And then once we fetch the arm cd, we need to get the arm variable. So let us see how this has been handled in SAS program. Let me zoom out. So let us open the SAS program. So what we are doing here is, first we are trying to fetch the randomization number into demo data set by merging at demog and enrollment data set at study and PT level, which is subject level. And when merging, we are only bringing the rand no variable from enrollment along with the by variables that we are using. So we are not interested in other variables from enrollment so that they are not kept as part of the merge. So and after that we are using dm01 and merging it with the randomization data set to fetch the txcd as harm cd. So what how are we doing it? So we have seen that randomization number 
variable name is slightly different in RAND dataset versus enrollment dataset. So what we are doing here is when trying to fetch that randomization ID. So we are renaming RAND ID to RAND NO. So which is the name present in our enrollment dataset. And then merging these two dataset based on randomization number. So as TXCD is equivalent to the ARMCD value. So we are just renaming it here. Uh, TXCD as ARMCD at the time of merging with the rename option on the data set and then merging. So after that, after we fetch the ARMCD, so we are creating ARM value using conditional processing of if then else and so on. And finally, we are sorting the data set again by study and PT and keeping only the required variables. So let's close this and now let us jump to the explanation of our program. So I'll bring the our program on the left hand side of my screen and I will open the intermediate data sets that get created from this program on the right hand side. So as discussed in the previous lesson, so I have my input data for this R lesson in a program uh, of this name and I am including that source file here. So this is kind of equivalent to our percent include statement. So the purpose is to that I have the code that creates the input data set in this program but I want that program to be executed in this program so that all my input data sets are available for this program. So that is the same purpose of percent include statement within in SAS. So we'll now see how this has been handled. So in that SAS program what we have done is we have fetched randomization number into democ data set and then in the next step we have fetched the treatment associated from uh, with that randomization number from RAND data set in the next step. So the first step here is to join demo data set to our enrollment data set at subject and uh, at study and PT level to fetch the randomization number. So how are we doing it? So here the syntax says that we are creating a data set named DM01 by using demo data set and then joining it on a left join fashion. So we are joining uh, demo data set left join enrollment but on that enrollment what we are doing is we are keeping only the required variables so the select function is that you will have to pass the input data set here and then the list of variables that you want to keep so here we are interested in keeping study pt and randomization number from enrollment data set so this is kind of an inline function or multiple uh, a nested function. So instead of directly specifying the name of the data set, we are passing it into select function to select only the required variables from enrollment data set. And then we are specifying the by variables using by is equal to parameter of left join function. So we are specifying that as we want to join at uh, study and patient level. So this fetches our randomization number into demo data set and the newly created data set is named as dm01 so let us take a look at dm01 now so here so if let's take a look at the demo data set first so we have study pt and some other demographic variables and in enrollment data set we have study pt and some additional variables and randomization number so we are fetching this variable into our demo so if we take a look at the uh, dm01 data set now we should have all the variables and all the rows from demo data set with one additional variable called rand number. So we have fetched that. And what do we do next is that we will have to fetch the treatment associated with this randomization number from rand data set. How do we do that? Again, we need one more join. So we'll be doing that here. So what does the syntax say here is, so we are creating a data set named DM02 by using DM01 and left joining it with randomization data set, which is rand. So here, what we are doing is we are selecting RAND ID and TXCD variables from RAND data set. So I just wanted to show you that we can pass the list of variables using this C function, which is used to pass a list of values or, or directly specify the variable names from the second argument. So the first argument for all of the tidy first functions would be your name of the input data set if you are using it in a standalone manner. So if we are using this pipe symbol, the first argument we will become the name of the input data set that we are uh, passing it on to. So and then here we have seen that in randomization number uh, is present in 
uh, two different named variables in rand versus enrollment so what we are doing here is that in sas what we have done is we have used rename is equal to option on the rename is equal to data set option to rename at the time of merging so but uh, tidyverse left join allows us to join two different data set uh, two different data sets even if the names of the variables are different so we can just specify that join by rand number is equal to rand id so how does this get evaluated to it checks that rand number from dm01 as we have used this as the parent data set as we are using left join and then rand on the right hand side so it checks for the rand id variable from this rand data set so we can make use of join by uh, join by function within the by is equal to parameter to specify if uh, if the variable names are different so if the names are different we can use this syntax which we have used in when creating dm01 we can just pass the list of variables using c function but if the names of the variables are different along with uh, in the by is equal to option we need to use join by and then specify the names of the variables with an double is equal to sign in between and then for the process and the join data set we are passing it into the rename function so and then renaming txcd as armcd as discussed in one of the previous videos so in the rename function the new name will be on the left hand side in r unlike in sas wherein the new name will be on the right hand side so we are renaming txcd as armcd because txcd is equivalent to armcd in our processing and then in the next step what we are doing here is we are adding a new variable called arm by using mutate function so we can use mutate function to add new variables to an existing data set so here we have created dm01 join we are using dm01 joining randomization data set fetching txcd and renaming it as armcd and then passing that resulting data set into this mutate function and then here what we are doing is so when joining so if something if a there is no row associated with a randomization number in rand data set so that resulting value in armcd will be na which is a missing value in r variable so the character null string is not equivalent to na in r so we will have to explicitly set the missing or null values to uh, character null string using this function so we are checking if is na of armcd so if this becomes true so we are assigning the missing character string to the armcd variable otherwise we are using the existing armcd variable and then we are creating arm variable using case when so when armcd is equal to placebo we are assigning the text placebo to arm otherwise if armcd is equal to active in all caps then we are converting it into uh, proper case and then assigning to arm value so case when is equivalent to case, select when of sas or a list of if then else clauses if then else statements so this is how we can create arm cd and arm and finally what we are doing here is in the resulting data set dm02 we are keeping only the required variables and then sorting the data set based on study and pt so let us now do one thing let's go to the final output uh, this is the output generated using the r code so i will try to open the data set which is generated from my sas code as well and let us take a look at the observation so here the observations are sorted by pt so 1001 to 1008 so the same order is followed here so we have eight observations eight observations here so let us take a quick look at the armcd values pbo two actives yes and then two placebos and two placebos and then active so similarly we have the arm variable derived accordingly so we are now able to replicate the concept of fetching arm cd and arm into uh, using r program and the even the outputs both match so one thing to note is that there are two subjects 1001 and 1002 so they do not have any record in randomization or enrollment data set with the randomization number so we do not have the randomization number or the armcd values populated for those subjects thank you for watching and keep learning